Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to add an index ID to a data frame using the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with the lines 2 to 5 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object appears which is called data and we can click on this data object to see the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame consists of three columns and six rows, but the row names of our data frame are not ranging from one to the number of rows, so we don't have an index ID in our data frame. So if we want to add an index ID to our data frame, then we can apply the code that you can see in line seven. And in this line of code, I'm using the cbind function to create a new column, which is called ID. And this new column is ranging from one to the number of rows of our data frame. So if you run line seven of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame has been created, which is called data one. And we can click on this data object to see the structure of our new data frame. And as you can see, we have added a new ID column to our data frame, which is ranging from one to six. So in this first example, I have added a new column to our data frame but you can see that the row names of our data frame are still not representing the IDs of our data. So if we want to change the row names of our data frame to represent the IDs of our data, then we can apply the code that you can see in lines nine and 10. So in line nine of the code, I'm first duplicating our data to create a new data frame object. And then in line 10, I'm applying the row names function and I'm adding to the row names the values one to the number of rows. So if you run lines nine to 10 of the code, you can see that at the top right of RStudio, a new data frame object appears, which is called data two. And as you can see, this new data frame object consists only of three columns. So of the original columns of our data frame, but this time we have changed the row names to represent the index ID of our data. So in the first two examples of this tutorial, we have used the basic installation of the R programming language. However, I want to show you another example, which is based on the dplyr package, because the dplyr package is a very popular package for the manipulation of data frames. So if you want to use the functions of the dplyr package, we first need to install and load the dplyr package, as you can see in lines 12 and 13. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 13 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the dplyr package, as you can see in lines 15 and 16. So in these lines of code, I'm applying the mutate function, and then I'm creating a new column, which is called ID, based on the row number function. So if you run lines 15 and 16 of the code, you can see that another data frame appears at the top right of RStudio, and this data frame also has an ID column, but this time we have created the new data frame based on the dplyr package. And you can see the difference compared to the previous code in example one is that the ID column appears at the end of the data frame. So in this video, I have explained how to add an index ID to a data frame in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.